Hi guys, it's Emma and today we are going to fold some laundry together. It is Sunday today and since going back to school, Sunday is my chores and errands day. So I thought that it would be really nice to multitask and we could do this together. I have a lot of stuff to fold. I did two, two loads yesterday. So we're just going to dump these out and get folding and I figured we could chat a little while I do that. This is load one. I'm just gonna dump them all out together. sort a couple things out of there and then we will start folding. Alright, I think for the most part everything has been sorted. You know, as I was dumping these out, I realized that it's kind of more like one and a half loads. Um, I separate my colors and my darks and um, or like I do like one load of and another one with like darker clothes. I guess I just didn't have enough weights this time for a whole load. Which is a shame because I don't get much time to do laundry. I sort my clothes into six piles. One of the piles is my scrubs, which I wear to work. I work in a pharmacy. So I'm just gonna grab those off the top and make a little pile. It's funny because they've ordered me scrubs three times and um, and like there's not like unlimited scrubs that they can order for me so I have to wait a year they can order me more but every time like the size that I ended up getting just like hasn't worked out so I actually currently don't have any scrubs that fit me correctly even though I have like so many but I think that like the like sizing standards just change every time they've ordered them And then another pile that I make is pajama shorts. And I have a lot, a lot of pajamas because it's just like my favorite thing to buy. Like if I was out shopping and I could only get one thing that day, I would always choose like a new pajama set to wear. And then I also have some towels in here that I've been putting off washing. Like this one is obviously a beach towel, not an actual towel. But I kind of just wanted to get it out of the way. Now that school started up again, I try and like keep my bedroom as orderly as I can just because it's kind of hard to focus on like homework and stuff if I have like a big mess like I need a clean space to do it because you know I could just stay and do homework on campus but I don't really like it because it's really crowded I hate folding towels I don't know if anyone else feels that way, but I just like hate the texture of them. They're like my least favorite thing to fold. Because they're just like dry, you know what I mean? This is 
my first video since my little like comeback where I was softly speaking instead of whispering and I've been like trying to do it in all the videos I could make like a full reel of like two minutes at the beginning of each of my videos where I'm just like practicing softly speaking and it's just like not working so hopefully it doesn't sound too bad it's like surprisingly difficult to maintain like a soft cadence without it just turning into a whisper another pile that i make is um big t-shirts because I either have like extra extra large t-shirts that are really baggy or I have like crop tops um, I really need more that's like in between but that's like surprisingly hard to find I feel like no shirts nowadays are like full length and they're all cropped um, but I did find at Walmart actually that I loved and it was only two dollars um, but I only bought one because I wasn't sure how it was gonna fit and I got it home and I loved it so I went back to buy more like a week later and they'd already switched them to long sleeves which is kind of annoying because it's like still 80 degrees out and I also feel like t-shirts are just like a year-round thing, but that's okay. Because I really just, I don't really need more long sleeves. I have a lot. And I'm just like struggling to find stuff to wear to school recently. Now I made a uh, going through my closet video recently and I don't know if you watched it but by the end of it I had only found like five things to get rid of and I realized in hindsight that I need, need to take it more seriously because I am just out of room for clothes especially because the cold weather is coming, I take my winter clothes out, and those definitely take up a lot more room than, um, sorry, I'm trying not to, this shirt has a high school on it, um, yeah, they're definitely gonna take up, like, so much more room than my summer clothes, and I just get, like, stressed out. clothing bins are overflowing and it just makes it a lot harder to find certain things that I'm looking for and keep my room tidy because I do clean my bedroom every day and it just turns into like a frantic dash in the morning to like find the specific things that I'm looking for and then like I don't have time to like sort through everything so I just like take all the stuff out of my clothing bins and like throw it on the floor and then when I get back from class I have to clean it all up and I just like I'm not loving that routine right now I'd rather just like be able to find things more quickly I just like wish that get rid of everything that I don't wear and then like have the money to find a bunch of new stuff to replace it that I would wear a lot. I think that the real key would be to go thrifting and I used to thrift a lot like when I was a little younger but 
obviously can't do it now because first of all, like, I get mad when I'm like at the thrift store and I see the prices and they're like basically the same as if I was just like regular shopping. Like, I don't feel like a used t-shirt at a thrift store should be like $10. Like, that's just crazy to me. And, um, like, I get that it's better to thrift because less waste, but it's okay because I'm just not shopping at all because I can't, like, afford the regular stores either. But it's just, like, the principle of the thing. Like, I don't understand why the prices are so high. And then I also just, like, have, like, sensory problems the thrift store because it's just like it's just like a lot of textures and the lights are really bright it's just all around like exhausting experience um, but I should do it more if I want like more clothes new scrubs for work but like <laughs> I'm not gonna have anywhere to put them because I, I have so many tops but I don't know where they came from because I think they've only given me six but I have like ten somehow oh my gosh these pants right here are these at Target they're just like little pajama pants they're like so soft and like incredible and they're super flattering they have because they're just like so cute and comfy. I think that they were like $25 or something like that. I also got these ones from Target. They're like, they're a cuter color obviously, but they're not as comfy and I think that's because they have like the little band and I hate when like pants with ankle bands like they ride up to like your knee and then I just feel like I look ridiculous but these were like I think they were the same price as the other gray pants I really should stop buying pajamas because like I'm complaining about not having clothes but I've spent all that money on pajama pants but I also spend a lot of time in bed so in my mind it's completely worth it I have like so much homework to do today and I was thinking about filming a um, study making video but I just, like, couldn't figure out, like, the logistics of it. Like, how I would set up my camera and all that. And I also don't think that my videos where I don't talk or don't have my face, they just, like, don't do that well. I think that that's just not, like, the specific audience. I have, but that's totally okay because I think that the videos where I get to talk to you are more fun anyway. I'm thinking about doing role plays at some point soon, but those are just like harder for me because takes a lot of like creativity and it is a lot more work because you have to put a lot of thought into like what you're gonna say and the props and all that and I get that like you don't really need like 
pops and stuff, but like if I was gonna make one, I would try to go kind of like all out, make a really good one. But that's something to think about for me moving forward. Maybe I could do like, like, well you can make like Patreon type videos through YouTube and then they're like a subscription and then it's like premium content and that's something else that I've thought about especially if I could ever get like Hannah to maybe like remake like the cranial nerve exam with me that would be really fun um, but I haven't seen her in forever very unfortunately. I'm running out of space for my pile. Oh yes, I already have a pile for that. I'm like concerned as I'm folding this because like I need whatever I just washed to last me the whole school week and um, I've only folded one pair of pants. I still have like a pile of laundry that I need to wash and I was just like pleased that that I felt like I didn't imminently need and um, they may have ended up in that pile which would be really unfortunate. I started school finished my third week. It's my senior year. It is not going well. I'm having a bad time because it's just like weird because I'm taking like different kinds of classes than I'm used to. Um, cause I'm taking um, microbiology and biostatistics. Biology is just really not my strong suit, and um, biostatistics has like a really big social element to the class. I don't know anyone in my class, and I'm kind of shy, so that's been tough. And then my classes are also like separated by 10 minutes, but they're really far away from each other. So there's just like no way I can possibly get to all of my classes on time and stay for the whole class period. And I have one on Wednesdays that is actually like two miles away from the main campus. So like I literally, and I have a class right before it, so I like literally so wrinkled. Gosh, that's crazy. How did that happen? Oh man, I really like can't wear this. Whatever, I don't want to wear the iron. Um, but I did finally like work up the courage to email my teacher about it. And just like let him know that I was having like a hard time. And he, he was nice about it, but he was basically just like, just because I skipped the class that was far away to the time, not on purpose, it just like happened. And he was like, well, it's okay, like you can just show up late, I don't mind, but like I mind. I don't like showing up late because it's just embarrassing and like everybody's looking at me because that class is really small. Um, so like he doesn't, he doesn't understand, like, it's really stressing me out. And yeah, I 
think that this might be like the hardest first couple weeks of the semester that I've had. But I'm hoping with time, like, I'm gonna adjust my boyfriend's shirt. It's interesting to me. Now that I think about it, I haven't really, really looked at it. The hundreds. Is that like a band? Who's this little bomb guy? What does this mean? I wanna Google this. I'm so confused. I'll text him about it after I film it. There's no bomb on the back. It's cute. My, my apartment's always like overrun with his stuff because he lives far away. My fridge just started being way all loud. Um, so I'll talk a little louder. But yeah, he lives like far away. So we see each other like twice a month and um, he like brings a bunch of stuff and stays for a couple days and then he leaves usually at like 6 in the morning on Mondays and um, ends up forgetting a bunch of stuff like this muscle tape. be done. And then I'm gonna try to do some homework and I need to go to the I need to go to the grocery store. Um but that that's not scary. It's like of course I like go to the grocery store because I'm an adult but I don't and I even like grocery shopping. I just don't like being in an environment with a lot of people driving there. Don't like driving. Especially because it's Sunday. So like, I know it's going to be really busy today. So I'm thinking that if I go at like 4, everyone will be like home with their families because I think most people grocery shop at like 10 a.m. on Sundays or like noon. And it's like noon now. So I'm going to wait it out. Because I plan to like wake up really early and get Duncan and then go to the store. But then like when I woke up, I just like want a coffee right then. So I didn't want to wait to drive to Duncan. And um but then like I didn't want to go to the grocery store without a sweet treat. I only have one coffee a day, so it just snowballed into me playing games on my phone until 11, <laughs> and now I'm folding laundry. These were already right side out, and I just turned them inside out. Now I have to switch it. I bought these pants in North Carolina at like a little boutique. And I was like, this is a silly purchase, I don't need these. And then I wore them like 300 times. And I'm like astonished that they haven't fallen apart yet. I just only folded two pairs of pants. This does not bode well for me. I'm very excited about these. Um, I was like, I don't have a pink or a Victoria's Secret at my mall, but I was like visiting my boyfriend and we were at his mall and we were walking by pink and I just got these like spidey senses, senses and I was like, I need to go in because what if they brought back the OG yoga pants with writing on the waistband and then I went in and they did. I mean, it's not as like slay the original ones like I wish the entire waistband was like leopard print or something but still adorable and um they were on sale too and they gave me a coupon to use this month 
definitely use it to buy me that. But like I said, there's no pink near me. I actually, this is funny, I, my car is registered in a different state than I live in because I go to college. So I needed to get my car inspected. So I drove to the state that my car is registered in, which took like 45 minutes. And I got there to get it inspected. And they like took it and they came back five minutes later and they were like, we can't inspect your car, your registration's expired. And I was like, what? What do you mean it's expired? And I was like, okay. And I just took my keys and I got back in my car. And pulled my registration out of the box and it expired in February and like I don't know how that happened because like I'm very like independent adult and like usually I'm pretty on top of things like I'm not like the girl who doesn't understand how credit cards work or something like I know how adulthood works um, and I thought about my registration like plenty of times and I've been like, is it expired? And I've like checked the tag on my license plate. But like for some reason, like I just like it just completely like fell out of my mind the conversation that I had with my mother when I was like 15. And she explained to me that the color on the tag is the month it expires and then the number is the year. I, every time I checked to make sure my registration wasn't expired yet, I would just look at the tag and see that it said 24. So I was like, okay, like, I have until the end of the year, but no, it expired so long ago. And to make things worse, like, my biggest fear is getting pulled over. I've never been pulled over because I do not speak. I follow traffic laws, like, I'm a very careful driver. So, but, like, now, every time I drive, like, I'm so scared because I don't want to get pulled over. I don't even care about, like, paying a ticket or something. Like, that just, like, seems like a really scary experience. But, basically, I can't go visit my boyfriend because I don't want to drive my car in its home state because I think that the cops would be lot more likely to pull me over because they'll know by looking at the sticker that it's expired whereas like the cops in a different state probably wouldn't basically the moral of the story is I have a really good coupon to pink and I can't use it because I don't have a pink here but maybe I could drive to the nearest pink in my state next weekend. It's only an hour drive. And there's even a restaurant there that I really want to go to. And yeah, I can make my boyfriend take me there. That sounds like a plan to me. Or I can order it online, but I feel like the coupon wouldn't work. Like kids screaming outside. I hope that you can't hear them. My piles are getting so big. I was gonna say something and I forget what it was. Um, an Ulta haul because I have a gift card and if I get a bunch of cheap stuff I'll have enough stuff for a haul because you guys want haul videos but like I can't afford enough stuff for a haul um, speaking of that I wanted to show you this I got this at Target for five dollars like if I tried to do a shopping haul like it would just be this because like last time I went shopping I was out for two hours this is all I came home with 
I just try not to buy things. Um, yep. Target, five dollars. Everybody needs one of these because I wanted festive decorations. Me and my roommate have a lot of decorations for like Christmas and Valentine's Day and Year's Day, but I don't have a lot for Halloween. I mean, I love Halloween, so I really wanted that. But yeah, I want to film an Ulta haul, and I've had like stuff in my cart for a month, but I just never bought it. So maybe I'll do that today, but I have a lot of stuff to do today. And I'm really stressed out about it. Because um, I have three exams coming up, and then I also have a lot of homework assignments to do because. I have my four classes, and then this semester I only have one lab, which is great because labs are just like so much extra work. It's insane. And usually I'd have two, but this semester I only have one. But then it's kind of like, it feels like a win, but it's not because the lab that I have this semester meets twice a week, which is crazy. Don't make me do that. I'm so busy. I don't know anyone in, in it, and um, I was scared we were going to have to work with partners, which would have been a nightmare, but I actually have to work alone, which feels a lot better, because even though it might be like harder, because this like is not my specialty, like, I'd rather like struggle academically than socially, because, I don't know, I'm just like more in my element like school stuff than like making friends. I think part of it is because I took two years off so I'm a little older than everybody else and like I can't relate to someone who's like I'm 23. I can't relate to someone who's 20. Like I want to but barely relate to people my age because I'm just like not I feel like 20 people in their early 20s are like super fun and like I'm just like not fun and I don't have fun stuff to talk about and I don't even want to do fun stuff um, because I'm tired and I have to pay my rent so I just like don't even know supposed to talk about and it's a struggle. I think this is my roommate. This is me. Is this my roommate's or is this my boyfriend's? Oh my gosh, I don't know. I guess I'll just give it to my roommate. Almost done. You just have salt. I did not come across amount of pants for the week, but that's okay. I'll live. I buy, every time I buy socks, I buy a 10 pack of just the same white socks. Um, and then somehow, I think I've done that three times, so I bought 30 pairs of identical socks. I don't know where they go. They're just like gone. Like, I just did all my laundry, and I'm only folding five pairs of socks right now. Where are the other 25 pairs? I, it just, like, blows my mind. Um, because the reason I buy all of the same ones is so that, like, I don't lose their matches. Because also, I only have, like, five pairs of, like, fancy socks. The, like, graphic ones, you know what I mean? I only have one of each now. All the other ones are gone. I guess they just get eaten by the washing machine or something. Because, like, they're not, like, hidden in my room somewhere. My room is, like, deep cleaned. There's nowhere to hide from me. Alone socks? Alright. We did it. We folded all of my laundry. So we are throughout the week. Anyway, thank you guys.
guys for sitting and talking to me. Let me know in the comments if you prefer the soft spoken or if you prefer the whisper. And I will see you guys again soon.